Peace be upon you. In this video, we present a scientific miracle of the Holy Quran, the stability of the Earth's crust. In 1909, a Croatian meteorologist and seismologist Andriha Mohoravisic, born 1857, died 1936, discovered the Earth's crust by observing a sudden change in seismic velocity at about 31 miles below the Earth's surface. Generally speaking, the Earth has three main layers namely the crust, mantle and core. The Danish seismologist and geophysicist Ingla Lehmann, born 1888, died 1993, further discovered that the Earth's core consists of a solid inner core and a molten outer core. In 1889, the theory of isostasy was introduced by the American seismologist and geologist Clarence Edward Dutton, born 1841, died 1912. Isostasy describes the gravitational equilibrium between the Earth's two upper layers, crust and mantle. The upper section of the mantle, called the asthenosphere, consists of weak plastic rocks and extends for 70 miles under the crust layer. Through isostasy, heavy objects on thin crust will float and penetrate the asthenosphere mantle layer. For example, a mountain will have a crustal root penetrating the mantle layer. This provides stability for the Earth's crust. Furthermore, the Earth has a radius of 3,750 miles and a very thin crust of 1 to 30 miles. As the crust is very thin in relation to the Earth's radius, there is a high possibility that it can shake. Therefore, mountains play an important role in the Earth's crust. More than 1,400 years ago, the Holy Quran clearly explained this phenomenon by describing the mountains as pegs. Chapter 78 verses 6 and 7, have we not made the earth as a wide expanse, and the mountains as pegs? The Arabic word used in this verse for pegs means acting as foundation piles like those used to anchor a tent. Another Quran verse clearly mentions the function of the mountains in stabilizing the earth's crust. Chapter 21, verse 31, and we have set on the earth mountains standing firm, lest it should shake with them. Thank you for watching this video.